Hi, good day. Today we are going to see about topic 1.5 muscles from unit 1. So muscles. Muscles are the organ that help us to move. So without muscles, bones are not capable to move as we desire. How does these mu muscles attach to the bones? Okay, the muscles are attached to the bones by tendons. Tendons are very strong and they do not stretch. So how does the muscle work? Muscles can get shorter. This is called contraction. In other hand, but muscles cannot be get longer unless otherwise there is force a play on it. Muscle produce pulling force while they contract. Looking at the diagram, the bicep muscle contract, it pulls up the scapula and radius. For example, look at me. I am contracting my bicep muscles to raise my forearms up. The pulling force is transmitted to the bones to the strong tendons. So this is how your bone move up or down. So a type of process which we see within the biceps and triceps are antagonistic muscles. Okay, What is antagonistic muscles? It's nothing but when a muscles are working with the help of each other with the uh, help of another muscle is called antagonistic muscles. A muscle can contract as I said before and become smaller but muscles cannot make themselves longer. When a muscle is not contracting we say it relaxed. If a relaxed muscle is pulled by a force it can get longer. Muscles that works in a pair are called antagonistic muscles. That means when I pull my hand up my biceps get, con get contraction and my triceps get relaxed. When I put my hands down, again my biceps get relaxed and my tricep, triceps get contract. If you see the image shown there, to bend the arms, the biceps contract and the triceps relax. And you see there is a pulling force creating at the point of your elbow. In the vice versa, if you can see, the straightened arm, the triceps contracts and the biceps relax. The contracting triceps pull up the tendons so that ulna move towards move downwards.